Hey guys, this is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you more of my uh, Let's Play. So just to round off what happened at the end of the last session, um, I defeated the Westphalian main army in the land battle. So all that's left is to capture their settlement, which is a improve has improved settlement fortifications, which I really, really, really don't want to attack. So I'm gonna hold back to reinforce, lay siege to them. And allow them to sally forth so I can defeat them in the land battle. Because I find that really, really annoying. But apart from that, things seem to be going okay in Europe. Um, it'll probably be only a matter of time before Hanover declares war on me. Because generally this faction, as they get stronger and stronger, they become more belligerent to their neighbours. And this is especially true of the Prussian campaign. You see that quite a lot. So it might be a case of having to expand to Hanover. But right now... I'm not at war with France at the minute, so ideally I should not be at war with them for a while. But I need to build up these settlements when I capture this one to become one strong network to be able to defend my interests. Ooh. Let's get this agent working this way. Technology. Okay, I'm on creating canister shop, which is a very good technology. But most important, I'm researching fire by rank which is being researched here. Ideally, next um, turn, I want to upgrade a college. Ideally, I'll upgrade both of these colleges because technologies are so, so useful. I haven't bothered with any naval because I don't really have much of a naval presence. Uh, but apart from that, I like to have three schools, one working on each different type of technology, which is what I'll have with both of these schools in Amsterdam, plus the college from Cologne. So that's basically my situation in Europe. As with respect to India, um, the Mughal Empire has declared war, declared war on me after beating the Maratha Confederacy. So they've just sent along this these couple of little brigs under Zebek, Zebek, however you pronounce it. They sent those to blockade my port and just basically be annoying. Bear, so I've got to bear in mind that they'll start sending stacks against me. So I need to reinforce this settlement, ideally with stage one fortifications they're the most to me i find it easier defending a small basic square fort as opposed to a star fort it seems like it just seems so much less to actually manage which is good if it re reduces your workload then it's an easier battle to win then over to my most successful region the americas i have now got a quite a solid foothold in the americas landed on the main mainland this army when ultimately it gets back to strength, will be what goes from island to island. And I would try and create a new army here. However, I need to get more money. So, let's have a look at my ministers are okay, I think. A three-star navy, but I don't really have much of a naval presence, but let's boot them anyway. Ah, oh, trade. Ah, uh, trade. India's blocking a lot of my trade, which sucks. So, let's have a look at trade agreements. I'd really like to trade with Russia. Ottoman Empire is a good trade partner because I'm not uh, I'm not intending to declare war on them anytime soon, so I'll get those bonuses racked up. Um, but generally, because at least as Britain, at least I try and stay out of India. At least when I'm not playing Darth Mod, I try and stay out of India, so I get really good relationships with the dominant faction, which is generally the Confederacy. But it's quite interesting, but in this case, it isn't. I'm not really going to try and trade with France or... I don't know. No, I don't want to. Trade with them or benefit them as much as me. Okay, so I think it's ready to end turn. Ideally, I'd like my settlements in general to being more becoming more advanced as opposed to depending on trade from the Americas. It's a much more solid amount of income because you get um, commodity price fluctuations the same as you get in real life. Which is okay. It's more interesting. I love having a variety of trade products. But after a while, as your economy is more and more dependent on them, any slight fluctuation really... What just happened there? Eh, whatever. Any, si any little fluctuation just starts to cause major problems. Oh, they're coming to attack me. Let me raid Luxembourg with this cavalry army. So, what do I want to do? What's my army here like? Hmm. What 
this morning. I'm going to lay siege to this army. Yeah, try my luck. Obviously, no. Um, maintain siege, hopefully to draw this army back. How far can they go? They can't go any far, very far right now. Recruit some token line infantry here. And then upgrade. Oh, actually, hang on. Upgrading economic things benefits you in the long run by a substantial amount. Like this right now. Negative growth. But if I upgrade this, then it might become positive. I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. And it's cheap. But I want a college. And I want a college now. So do they. Canister shot has been researched. Ah, they just blockaded my port. But because I'm not, they're not in it, they're not doing any damage. They damaged it before from where they went in. But uh, let's get these guys working on. That sucks. I don't really have much come on social contract. Yes. More wealth and it's really easy. So go for that. How am I doing in terms of other people? Professional. Enlightenment uh, yeah. okay, but could be better. Unsurprisingly Britain is a naval power. Um really short term because it's starting to I don't really have the budget to keep what I've got going going. So, I don't know, this army might ultimately become the army that keeps moving up Spain. But I'll wait and try and recruit a few more units just to pad it out with a few more line infantry units. So, another end turn. It'll be interesting to they just try and raid more of my places with their cavalry army. But ideally, if they try and engage me in one big battle, I should be able to win. If we're confident I'll be able to win. Whether I actually will or not will be another matter. But I don't know. Ideally, hold ground in India, take this last settlement in Europe, hold ground, and expand on the European continent. That would be I'd my ideal settle situation. I should try and make peace with... Aha, Sally Forth. Okay, well... I am going to let see you guys on the battle screen. Okay, guys. So, this is their fort. I don't mind attacking their forts, but right now I've been, my troops are depleted, and I really don't like doing that with a depleted force. Like, my artillery is quite handicapped, so I'm deploying. I'm going to try and deploy as far back as possible because sometimes they occasionally have units on the walls, which kind of sucks, but they do that and they get shots off on my guys from their freebie artillery. These units are under strength by a big margin, so keep them there for a moment. Core of my infantry body. I've got two of these guys. So one artillery unit on the right with a mere two guns. I generally like to have up to four units of artillery in any army. But deal with the hand you dealt. Uh, one unit of grenadiers and one unit of uh, Scots line infantry. So this one. Just to support the artillery on there. Then the same as this on the other flank. Cavalry reserve, which is not a reserve, because look how many of them there are. They're not going to be doing much unless it's a do or die scenario. Ah, one unit of line spare. Okay. Keep one unit of line spare reserve this flank. All the understrength units can make a reserve here. And both guns set up. want to be rotating in this direction. Okay, that's not right side you can get. There you go. So 
rotate to meet the threat. They I thought they had reinforcements. Oh well. Armed citizenry, some line, garrison militia. Do they have any Yeah. They have mortars which can do real damage to um, infantry formations, so generally it's quite a good idea to sit back. That way, if they're completely out of range, they're static defences, so eventually they'll abandon their mortars and just try and melee you, which is really beneficial. You really don't... well, you're so smart. But at least I don't really want to attack them at all. So let's... My guns are opening up, but there's not really a whole lot they can do because they're messing around. I'm the defender, so if they want to mill around, that's completely fine. The timer is in my favour, although if they don't do anything, I'll completely cut out this battle and it'll be pointless. See? They've just completely dropped their guns and are moving to charge me, so they now have no artillery support. Not that they had any in the first place, I wasn't going to go near them, but... Better safe than sorry. Now, one th annoying thing that generally happens, they mess around kind of organising in lines, one big line. Like, are these guys coming in? Can't make up their mind. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I am going to say I'm going to bring you back to the battle once... What are these guys doing? I'm going to bring you guys back to the battle once um, something interesting starts happening. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so what has happened is that our gunners have run out, like I predicted, and I didn't really feel it was worthwhile starting the recording up just for them, but then they've started a general advance. So gunners get to work against those artillery, no, cavalry. These guys need to rotate. They can all form square, which is probably something I'm going to be doing a lot because they have a lot of cavalry support. And considering they're advancing alone, I may as well go to square because they've got nothing to deal with me with. Not really any alternative with their cavalry except they're probably going to die in a worthless charge. Kind of like what happened at Waterloo. But history repeating itself and whatnot. They should lose because they're fighting a square formation. But don't really want to send my guys, my cavalry in to deal with it. Oh shoot, 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 shoot. Cavalry, sorry I swore. Cavalry, no, artillery firing down the line. Absolutely massacred their cav. But not safe for work. Generally. <laughs> Broken, wavering. General gets stuck in, as you're right there. If you die, you're easily replaceable. I lose a lot to generals. Infantry threat, cavalry threat rather, has appeared to have been nullified. Their cavalry is dying and routing, so back to conventional formations to receive their line. And their weakened line of infantry is where they are. Cavalry has returned to the field, but that's not a problem. Focus fire. Too late. No need. Give fire. Come on. Route. Shaken, wavering. Wavering. What are you doing, cavalry?
routing yet. Lasering. Cavalry coming back again. Keep these guys in square because these cavalry are just running around and not being nice. Can you do tanks for sure? You can. We'll deal with that militia. Rotate to deal with that militia unit. But this is their center, ideally. Oh, it's, ooh. Cavalry not sure whether they're going to charge or not. So hopefully they can get some shots. My guys can get some shots off. Kind of running up and down the flank. Shaken, wavering. Come on, route, route, route. Steady. Square bonuses. How's it going in this flank? Going pretty adequate. Oh, come on. Excellent routing. My guys should win any ranged competition because they've just got militia. True, they've got loads more militia than I have line, but them stats. Come on. You got a deal if they route because then I can just move up this entire flank. Artillery going to work. Routing. Not wavering, but my guys can move up anyway because they're just badass. And they'll cope. Is there any cavalry of theirs on the field? I think. Oh, General's bodyguard. That's fine. I can cope with one unit. It's not like having lots of them running around. This gun. Get on canister shot. Because it's like they're only one of the only few units of line. The rest of it's all just militia. General flanking round. Don't worry, worry about it. Militia. Stronger militia. You go down. You need to form square. Rapid. Although I suspect this will not be enough. Even though you guys are badass regiment of foot Scots. You need to get stuck in on this as well. And you. Oh, the reinforcements are arriving. Okay. If I can kill their general, that would be ideal. If I kill their general, it's worth my guys dying. But then I'll rotate this flank back around to deal with the reinforcements. So once I've killed their general, ooh, push, push, push. General killed. Back to this flank. Massive retreat. Where's my. Go get them, eight strong cavalry. <laughs> uh, if they can do anything, they can do this. It's like the only useful thing they'll be able to do the whole game. They charge this infantry as they're wavering. Hope they can get them to rout. <laughs> Where's my general? Widespread routing. Only a couple of line infantry actually doing anything. But this other unit of artillery over on the left flank can. Yeah, yeah, they're in range. Let's do it. 
pick on these guys because they're their actual line infantry as opposed to militia. So these, in terms of the units that are fleeing now, these are the ones that are want you want to take out. Because like, like I said before, I don't really run with a lot of cavalry, and so this is where it kind of sucks. But I'm more of a line guy. I think these guys are badass. I love you guys. But hopefully I can have them suitably weak. So that next time I can just attack and win the siege battle. Once I've sufficiently damaged them. Right now, what's this? Militia. Militia. So, yeah, I don't have to worry about militia. They will not beat my line. Although these guys are depleted, I grant you. That's just not going to happen. Okay, run away. Back to safety. Uh, although you're only now six strong. Light horse. First, the first light horse. Although you're only six strong, I like you guys. I, I like your style. But right now, um, artillery fire, bring down the rain. There's really not a whole lot else to do because their reinforcements are coming, all two units of them. Artillery, just let them come to me and deal with it. I'm not going to do much. I'm not going to do any damage. Well, I say not do any damage. I'll do damage. Some. But not on the scale of that I'll be put in a, any serious tactical trouble. But let's watch them. Catch or brutal. Let's watch the first volley from the shot off. going down. That's the thing about Darth Mod. I there's not a whole lot, a whole lot of mods I like, but Darth Mod is really, 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 really good. If you don't have it, rec I recommend it hugely. Oh, artillery shot. There's you won't get a better mod than Darth Mod for Empire Total War. Apart from maybe a couple little fun ones like the German Fife. But I think it's fine as is. Let's watch the commander. There he is. Halberd. Sorry. Fairly old timey, even for this era. Why should I say that? I say that. But that's not true. Sergeants were armed with them in British, in British regiment, protecting the colours. It's a bit strange that a captain has one. Well, I say captain. Uh, I say that a lot. Bounce around. I don't know. Depending on what you call this. Company or battalion or whatever. 224 guys could be too small for a battalion. So, company it is. So, that would be a captain, I think. Wherever he is. There he is. I want a bullet right there. There's no point doing anything. Well, no. Just let artillery deal with them. Speed it up because there's no fight left in them now. Just a case of waiting for them to rout and or die. Come on. Could do a bayonet charge. But... Whoa, 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 whoa! Why? Are you? Oh. Those. G that sucks. That really sucks. All right, you know what? Screw you guys. Were they even focus firing my gen? Oh, I guess they were. That's the thing in Darth Mod. If you have a general behind your line, you sometimes get kind of, sir, your general is under attack, just because of guys missing and the bullet striking on here and it counting as. Not necessarily attacks on your general, but your general is receiving fire. 
which is kind of cool. I don't really mind. I'm not sure if that counts as my general dying or not. I might ultimately get him back on the campaign map. But that's not a pro Oh, why are you running? It's not a problem that I've lo I'm losing my general. It's more of an annoyance, really. That you, had, that you felt you had to do that. Not any personal, like, oh, my general has routed health. Oh, my tears doth so sour. Sad. Come on. You know what? As that one commander said in the Patriot, we'll see who takes the floor. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> I'll see you guys back on the campaign map. Okay guys, here is the campaign statistics. I lost less than 700 guys and killed almost three times that amount. Well, three times that amount, three times that amount. Yeah, yeah. I killed three times my guys, I think. Battle stats, who killed most? Line. And they, yeah, lots of experience gained. Excellent. Let's see how they... Opportunity to insert. No. Just let them be douches. I'm going to end up destroying their capital anyway. Rakes kind of suck. I don't really use rakes a whole lot. The only thing they're really good for is assassinating people of other, like other religious people. Uh, can I take him? <laughs> the guy who routed gets plus one to morale in battles for his troops, even though he ran away. Oh, don't you just love that? So let's have a look. Well, I won't update me what their army is, but and they have a lot of terms of surrender. My guys, on the other hand, are not really. Aha! War units line. Let's take out the most damaged four, which I think is these guys. Head them back for retraining. Is fresh guys sent out? Versus a lot of cavalry. Could probably do that. Could probably. But I think I am going to end this part here. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.